Today, this time I bring you an American Muscle, a pony car that's affordable, compact, wedgy with a sporty performance from General Motors. This is the 2002 Chevy Camaro SS 35th Anniversary, one of the most underrated and limited production Camaros ever made. I believe this is the third muscle car I'm reviewing in this channel and this Camaro is very underrated for me and also looks cool and fast from its era. The last muscle car I reviewed was several months ago with a Mustang GT and before that the Charger Hellcat. Since those videos were released at the time where I first started making videos in early 2021, these will get a remake very soon. So stay tuned if you like American Muscle and more. Now, here's why this Camaro is so special, rare, and also very desirable. This is the special edition of the fourth generation Camaro that marked the final F body pony car for 2002. The 35th anniversary represents that Chevy celebrated its iconic Chevy Camaro's 35 years of existence at the time since the first inception in 1967 by releasing an exclusive limited edition package to commemorate it in August 2002. In 2001, General Motors declared that the legendary Chevy Camaro will be discontinued for 2002 as the final trim of the F body as the best of the last with a powerful V8 and only available as the Super Sport trims. The 35th anniversary package included the bright red exterior paint with dual silver stripes fading into checker racing flags flown front the facelift over the hood and the rear deck and spoiler. Not all models had the body stripes, but they are optional. The 35th Anniversary Edition Camaro was offered in a T-top coupe where you can just detach the roof and the SS convertible are fitted with black soft tops. At the end of its journey, GM produced a total of 3,369 units worldwide of the 35th Anniversary and this was a very limited car that you had to buy if you desired to drive this legendary Camaro. They split between 1,971 coupes and 1,398 convertibles with 3,000 units for the US market and 369 units for Canada. Sounds about right that this is limited. The 35th anniversary Camaro besides the red exterior came with the anniversary badges located on the sides, on the front bottom, fenders, and with updated rims. The rims has the red Chevy logo decal in the middle and with silver black inserts providing the car's design to match the paint scheme. At the front grille between the stripes is the emblem sported in American colors with the Chevy logo which is a cool design with the white font Camaro emblem on the front bumper and on the rear bumper with the Super Sport badge next to it. In factory guys, the performance of this 35th anniversary Camaro was the most interesting part and identically performs as a standard SS in terms of specs since graphics and checker stripes don't add horsepower as this may appear like it has 400 horsepower. But the coolest thing underneath the bonnet featuring the underrated 350 cubic inch 5.7 liter LS1 V8 engine which is the same engine Chevy used for the C5 Corvette producing an output of 345 brake horsepower and 350 pound-feet of torque which doesn't sound that impressive nowadays because the new Camaros produces double the horsepower than this one but back then this thing still had the performance to back up the unique look of the car and never was intended to feel like a supercar and extremely fast like Camaros are today. This ultimate 4th gen Camaro will accelerate 0 to 60 miles per hour in a straight line in merely about 5 seconds. It could do a quarter mile in just 13.6 seconds and touches the top speed of 168 miles per hour or 271 kilometers an hour. That's just as fast as the new Camaro Super Sport from the 345 brake horsepower LS1 V8 and that one produces 455 horsepower with a 6.2 liter V8. To stay true to its exceptional power, this special edition Camaro engine was upgraded that pushed up the total horsepower to 345 when GM updated the inductor SS exhaust system to achieve the extra 20 horsepower, while the standard Z28 SS retained 325 brake horsepower. The power was transmitted to the rear wheels with a newer rear end differential and combined with a 6 speed manual gearbox. Further enhancements were also offered such as better air lid and intake bellows. From the numbers, 
It was clear enough that this fourth gen Camaro was still a tough competition for the 2002 Mustang. Though it returned in the market with new avatars with the 2002 Anniversary Edition, muscle car enthusiasts saw that the historic rivalry of the two great American Pony cars came to an end, the Camaro and the Mustang. The Camaro's twin, Pontiac Trans M Firebird also competed with the Camaro and both had been discontinued in 2002 due to sluggish sales and drop in demand in the sports car market. That was the first time Chevy Camaro was gone for good. Well, only for seven years on hiatus, and then made a comeback in 2009. Before the final F-Body Camaro finally rolled off the assembly line in August 2002, General Motors declared that they had no plans launching another Camaro line at that moment. After all that said, let's talk about the styling. As I said before on this Camaro, the exterior looks absolutely stunning with the special red and the checker stripes, nice choice of rims, and the interesting design of the Camaro. This is the most underrated Camaro model ever produced because this Camaro has the most controversial looks than any other Camaro. This is where the nickname Catfish Camaro comes into play, and you might wonder when did Chevy Camaro get the name Catfish? Theoretically speaking, the car looks a lot like the Catfish, because as you can see, the Camaro has flush headlights and a front grille that appears like a gapping mouth with numerous round edges and wedgie. Some muscle car enthusiasts just didn't like this look of this Camaro because the body design that did not match the previous Camaros. You see, the Camaro was previously known for its sharp angles and boxer shape in the first three generations, but when the fourth gen Camaro was redesigned in 1993 through 2002, it was much rounder and wider edges, much sleeker, and lost the traditional sharp lines and boxer shape. Many enthusiasts didn't like that at first, and some did. And you should remember that Pontiac did the same thing to the Firebird in the 90s too. But there are many upsides to this Camaro. Whether you think the Camaro looked good or not, GM had amazing plans for the car. The soft slick design provides the Camaro the lowest drag coefficient of any other Camaro ever produced to this day since 1993. The catfish face was actually more for function over style as proved to be very aerodynamic. Now quote me if I'm incorrect, the 4th gen Camaro including the 35th anniversary edition is the lightest Camaro ever of any Camaro which makes it very unique. In fact, it wasn't as bad as you think. The Camaro had secrets and easter eggs like the LS1 engine from the C5 VET, special badging, manual transmission, and the same amount of horsepower as the VET, but at a much cheaper price and thus very affordable. Today, you can now buy this Camaro for anywhere under 20 grand, depending on the condition, the area, and the age. And while this car was still built by General Motors in the 90s with a soft slick design like other sports cars from that era and might be weird and ugly to some people, that meant that the analog interior quality has cheap plastics, a boring layout, stick shift, and leather seats, except the iconic 35th anniversary badge in the middle cabin defining that final F-body Camaro. The practicality like the trunk capacity is very small and I'm assuming it has 9.1 cubic feet so you can fit a little bit of items in there. Now to wrap this up with my personal feelings about this epic Camaro, it has weird looks and definitely isn't the best looking Camaro when comparing it to any Camaro but remains legendary underneath the skin and because the car was different and looks fine, not beautiful but different and I bet this drives fast, drives like a beast, and sounds good too. So if I were you, who love Camaros, that is within your budget, I suggest getting this one given its performance value and then enjoying it for what it is rather than judge the car by its looks, a catfish for example. And this 20 year old Camaro really is an amazing choice as a first car. And it's really cheap. And now, that is the official and car review of the 2002 Chevy Camaro Super Sport 35th Anniversary Edition. And I hope you guys really did sit back and relax and enjoy this video. If you did, do not forget to smash that like button and click the subscribe for some more upcoming videos. And as always, you are more than happy to give me any car suggestions in the comments down below.
Let's virtually walk to the 2002 Camaro and get inside and put the keys into the ignition and start the engine. Make sure to adjust your headphone volume for the car sound. Peace out.